Hey YouTube, I am Erin Ball. So as you can see, I got my quarantine cap on, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm still quarantined. I'm still staying at home. The state of Georgia is wide open for coronavirus to run rampant, and it ain't gonna get me. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. No, sir. I'm not playing with it. But anywho, I just wanted to check in with y'all, see what y'all doing. How y'all live with y'all states opening back up? Y'all getting back out there or y'all staying home? And, um, I haven't done a dummy of the day lately because it's been too many of them. I couldn't choose. You got the Las Vegas mayor that was offering up her residence for test dummies to see how the, <laughs> see how the virus just runs rampant. You got Mike Pence going to the Mayo Clinic with no mask, even though they have a masking policy. And the biggest part about that was not even that he didn't that he broke protocol and didn't wear a mask, but he offered up his reasoning as being that he's tested often. Come to find out, he's tested every six days. How many Americans that ain't in the White House or on the Coronavirus Task Force? How many of y'all really getting tested once? let alone every six days like sir you just made it worse you just made it worse and mike pence is really like going downhill right now you know what i mean i i used to have a little respect for him because he seemed to be you know we know he was like the cleanup man for all president trump's gaffes and goofy statements and whatnot but now he really just jumping right on board with it like yes sir, i got your boss so I'm really disappointed with him and uh you know my favorite dummy is not just President Trump but my governor Governor Kemp so he has opened up the state for business with all of these regulations and whatnot that small businesses are not really going to be able to uh do so either they're not going to open or they're going to open and not do it until they get caught because there ain't no fines for it ain't no penalties for it but you know so now they got to open up with uh 25 percent capacity and all this kind of stuff or whatever oh okay but meanwhile y'all uh tours to the governor's mansion they've been halted due to the coronavirus pandemic oh so we can't come to your house you just want us out of our house to run rampant and, uh, to let the virus run rampant and get us but we can't bring it to you we can't bring it to your front door like uh we want to see you knock knock hey mr governor i got that round up for you <laughs> y'all come on oh and then you got the meat packing uh, pr uh plants that are being forced forced to reopen and stay open now mind you they didn't close just because, oh, we're, we're going to close. We don't feel like working. The workers want to work, and obviously the employers want to be open. But there is a little thing, just a little, little thing. It's only taking about 60,000 Americans right now, and we have a million cases, over a million cases of it right now. But um, the president said they got to open. And after he said that and got a little pushback, now he's saying, oh, we're going to roll out some guidelines and regulations. Okay, but when you going to roll out the funding to put these uh, protocols in place? Where are the workers' protections? Because now you have removed liability from these companies. So, you know, if I'm a, if I'm a worker at Tyson or Smithfield or whatever the uh, meat plants are, if I'm an employee and I go in there and get sick, before this, I had a lawsuit. But now, because they've been federally mandated as an essential service, there's no liability for the company. How are you protecting the American worker? And if they choose not to go back to work or not to work at these plants because they don't have these protocols in place, there is no unemployment there is no unemployment for them so now you're gonna force these people to go in there work under these conditions and expose themselves and their families to this virus that y'all don't even have a treatment for you don't even have testing you don't even have adequate testing 
Yes, we've done five, what is it, five million tests that we've done now? That's 2% of the whole population. You used the DPA, the Defense Protection Act, to make meatpacking plants stay open, but you didn't use it to make sure that we got the reagents for testing. Genius. Genius. Like, come on. Come on. We, y'all, as much as you can, stay home. Stay home because they don't care nothing about us. They trying to get their money. And they're not slick. They trying to open up these states so that people got to go back to work. Because why? Because they just boosted unemployment. So we need to cut that off. We, we need to get that back. That wasn't no good idea. So now, if you open up these states and these businesses and employees don't feel safe going back to work, unemployment is cut off. Unemployment is cut off. They haven't done anything to reinforce the healthcare systems. They haven't done anything to make sure that we have, you know, adequate supplies. We need PPE for the general public now. We didn't even have PPE for the hospitals, the nurses, doctors, and everybody that works in a hospital. But now we just gonna open without that. We don't have no DPA to make sure that we get those produced. It's coming out, you know what I'm saying? It's coming out, but still. And not to mention, we still got cases rising in a lot of these states, including Georgia. <sighs> including Georgia. I'm trying not to go off on a tangent, y'all. I, I want you to know, number one, Governor Kemp stole the election from Stacey Abrams, who was the person I voted for, so... Don't blame me. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> I didn't vote for him. But nevertheless, I just want to stop in, check in on y'all. Make sure y'all doing all right. I hope y'all staying safe, staying sane, and as much as possible, staying home. Because they don't care nothing about us, y'all. So we got to worry about ourselves and worry about your loved ones. But into who? Um, what else? I think that's about it. No, well, before I go, in case you didn't know, I did launch a podcast. It's called The Beacon of Truth. It's available on like seven, eight different platforms, including uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Apple. So anyways, if you're bored, check me out. But nevertheless, y'all, as always, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I am Aaron Boyle. Y'all have a great day.